Today I'm making a flaky pie crust that you can use with meat pie, you can use with fruit pies. The secret ingredient is using all butter instead of shortening. Okay, let's get to it. We're going to start with two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon salt, one and three quarters stick softened butter, five to six tablespoons cold water. So today we're making a flaky pie crust and what I need to do is sift flour because I don't have an, a manual sifter. So this is the easiest way to do it. You take and just shake it out. And this pie crust we want flaky. This is why we sift the flour. All right, so now that it's all sifted, we need to measure out two cups of flour. So what I'm gonna do is just measure it from our sifted flour and put it in our measuring cup. And I'm thinking we're gonna have some left over. Which is okay because we can flour the surface with it. And we're just about at two cups. One of the reasons why you want to do this is when you're dipping your measuring cup into the bag of flour, you're compressing the flour. And we want a nice airy dough. All right, so what I'm going to do is empty the rest of this out, put it off to the side, and we'll be right back. We're going to start this recipe with one and three quarter sticks of warm butter, room temperature preferably. And we're going to slowly incorporate our flour. I also want to add at this time one teaspoon of salt. So far we've added in the butter, the salt, and a little bit of flour. Now I want to add in one tablespoon of water and you want it to be cold. We're slowly going to add in more flour. Now we start mixing. We'll use the rest of our water. and a little more flour. Okay, this is the part where it gets a little messy. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna put our hand in and we're gonna just work it around the bowl to make sure we get all the flour from the bottom. At this point, we're gonna put the dough into a covered container and place it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. All right. <laughs> so our pie crust has been resting in the fridge for 30 minutes. Let's pull it out and start rolling out some dough. Okay, so what I want to do is add a little flour to the surface because I don't want sticky dough everywhere. And one way to ensure that you won't have sticky on your hands is to take and rub your hands in flour. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half because we need two pie crusts. So I'm trying to roll it into a ball with my hands and it's perfect, it's absolutely perfect. We want to roll this out to about 11 inches. And it doesn't matter because you can, it doesn't matter if your pie crust crumbles, you can always roll it out.
I'm going to be using this pie crust today for a video that will come out later. Okay, we have our first pie crust done. And this is how easy it is. This is all you have to do. The next thing you do is you scoop it up, place it in an ungreased pie pan, and then put your filling in and bake it. That's all there is to it. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.